Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video we will be comparing the Hostinger website builder to Webflow to help you decide which of these web building tools is best for you. Now, the first thing that I will say straight out of the gate is that these are very different tools designed for very different people. The Hostinger website builder is definitely more for people who don't really have much web design experience and you want a more simple website. A good example of this would be something like a portfolio website a wedding website or maybe a small blog. Whereas Webflow is a lot more design intensive and it is really designed for people who have a lot of web design experience and they know what they are doing when they are building websites. With that being said, what we will cover in this video is of course the pricing of both of these tools, the ease of use and the web building features and also the e-commerce functionality of both of these tools if that is something that you are looking for. So the first thing that we are going to dive into is the price. With both of these tools, I will leave my partner link in the description of this video and signing up through that link will give you the best deals and discounts. So when it comes to pricing, hosting up is going to be a lot cheaper. If we go down, we have the premium website builder and we have the business website builder. Essentially, the only difference between these, you will see the top features are all the same on both of these platforms. Essentially, the difference between these is AI tools. Do you want to use the AI image generator, the AI writer to write posts for you, the AI blog generator, heat map, SEO tools? You get all of these included with the business plan and you also get e-commerce functionality. This is a big one. If you are building an e-commerce store, you want to go for business. But either way, the price of these with this discount is going to be $250 per month and $350 per month. There is one caveat to this though, and this is if you sign up for one year or longer. So just to show you, if we click into this one right here and we choose plan, if we buy this on a 12 month period and we pay upfront right now, then we get this $299 per month pricing. As you can see, it's going to cost us $35 to host our website for an entire year. If we flick this to monthly, then this is going to go up. It's going to cost us $11.99 per month, a lot more expensive, right? Plus an initial $5 setup fee. Now, the awesome thing about this is you can get your website for very, very cheap if you go for like the 24 or 48 months. You do have to pay upfront for this, but with the 12 months, if I buy this right now, I get the $2.99 pricing for the first year, and then it renews at $9.99 per month. Whereas if I go 48 months, I pay up front, but I lock in this $2.50 per month pricing for an entire four years. So I just pay $120 and I have my entire website hosted for four years. Webflow is a lot more expensive. These are the site plans on Webflow. You can start out with this free plan, but you really can't do much on this in terms of when you put your website live. This is really just for trialing and testing out. Then we have basic for a relatively simple static site. So what I would say is with this basic plan right here, this is essentially the same type of website that you are going to build over here on Hostinger. So if you are thinking going for this plan, I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend going with Hostinger. But if you are going to go for one of these, like a, an advanced blog or a larger website on one of these higher plans, I would recommend going for Webflow because with Webflow, you get a lot of tools that you don't get access to with the Hostinger website builder. So that is what we will go into next. I will log into a new account with both of these tools and I will show you the entire process. So we can start out with Hostinger because it is the most simple website builder. And essentially all we do is once we have purchased our Hostinger hosting, we can go to website right here, add a new website and go to the website builder. And this is going to take us over to the website builder area. And the first thing it's going to ask is, do we want to build this with AI or do we want to choose one of these pre-made templates? So we can go down here and we can choose from one of these templates. These look absolutely fantastic. But with these templates, of course, you will have to change everything on the website and change out all these images, do a lot of design work, right? But what we can do is use the AI website builder and tell Hostinger exactly what we want. So I could go in here and let's say that I'm creating a wedding website. We can choose wedding invitation. We can change this to John and Olivia, and then we can add a description right here. So I'm just going to enter John and Olivia are getting married on the 16th of December, 2025. And we can now go in and create this website. So this is going to be the same process for if you are creating a blog, uh, maybe an e-commerce site, anything like this. We just go through the AI website builder and enter all of the information in. Just like this, the website is now going to load in, and this is the website that we were just given. 
So we can click in here and we can go to edit the website and we can now go through and use this drag and drop editor to make all of the changes that we need to make. So to change any text, we just go in here and we can change the text. We can move these buttons around. We can click into buttons and click on edit, choose where they link to. We can go down here, click into the images and change the image. Same for this text. We can add in new sections right here. And overall, as I said, this is a very simple website builder to use. We can also go over and add elements in, new elements to the website and drag and drop them around. Now, I'm going to create a new website here on Webflow and look how much difference this is. Once again, we can choose from a template. So this doesn't have an AI website builder, but let's select this template as an example. And we can go in and we can edit this. So when this opens up, the entire editor is completely different, right? Because we do get drag and drop, but it's a very different level of drag and drop. On Hostinger, we can drag and drop these effectively anywhere we would like on the website. It's really freehand with just some guides. Whereas with Webflow, we can kind of only clip them together. So if I drag this word elevating, you see where this blue line appears here and the blue line appears right here. This is essentially where I can drop the element. So it's a very different drag and drop editor. On top of this, look at all of these different things along the side. There are so many more settings in here. So we can go in and we can change the spacing right here. We can go ahead and adjust like the size, if this is static or if this is absolute. And you can see there are a lot of different settings that we can change here. The navigator as well is a lot steeper of a learning curve. And we just have so much to do and so much in here that it takes a very long time to learn. With that being said, if you are looking for a more advanced website, you can't go wrong with Webflow. It's one of the best for this. So this is what I meant at the start when I said that these are very different tools for very different people. Hosting up is better for just a very simple website, just like this. Whereas Webflow is going to be much better for more complex websites and more professional business themed websites for like big companies. Just as an example, to show you what I mean by this, Apple.com, I can't say for sure, but I'm very confident that you would be able to build a website like this inside of Webflow. If you want to build a website like Apple on Hostinger, there is absolutely no way. It's just too simple and there is, you can't customize it enough to be able to pull off a beautiful website like this. The next thing that I'm going to touch on, and this is a very quick and simple section, is e-commerce. If you are thinking about creating an e-commerce website with either of these two tools, don't do it. The only reason that I would use e-commerce on either of these tools is let's say that this is like a banned website, right? This is like a band to a website. And maybe you want to sell like a t-shirt or something. You can go to online store and we can add this in. And then we can go ahead and customize all of these products. The same on Webflow. It does have e-commerce functionality. I mean, you need to buy an entirely different plan, but it does have e-commerce functionality. However, these are website builders. Like that's what they are. They aren't e-commerce store builders. They are primarily website builders and they have some e-commerce integrations. The best tool by far for an e-commerce website is Shopify and it's not even close. Shopify is specifically an e-commerce platform builder. Like you can't just build a website on Shopify. It needs to be an e-commerce site. And because of this, everything is set up in an e-commerce way. Shopify has much better payment providers and integrations. It has much better analytics for your store. And I'm not going to go into a lot of details because this is not a comparison of Shopify, but I just want to say that if you are building an e-commerce site, use Shopify, don't use either of these. If you do want to learn more about Shopify though, I will leave a link in the description to my Shopify tutorial that I created, and that will run you through the entire process of how to build a store on Shopify. But coming back to Webflow versus the Hostinger website builder, you should now understand why these are very different tools and they are designed for different people. So hopefully this video was valuable. Hopefully you learned something from this. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.